I'm motorcycling in Norfolk, taking a couple of days out on my Royal Enfield 500 Classic, pottering about the countryside along lovely quiet lanes. But I never like to ride around aimlessly, and whilst the journey is almost everything, I still like to have destinations in mind. So I've searched out a few of Norfolk's Round Tower churches. Round towers were an early form of tower, part of an Anglo-Saxon building tradition, which was later replaced by square towers. Churches with round towers are unusual. Most of them are in East Anglia, Norfolk in particular. Medieval in origin, round towers survive as time capsules in small rural villages where there was not enough money or a sufficiently wealthy donor to rebuild the tower. I rode to Norfolk to search for a few. It wasn't a difficult exploration, as there are many round towers to be found in the county. Perhaps more important to me than the round towers discovered along the way were the routes taken to reach them. These round towers were way markers for my tour, targets for the ride that drew me along delightful lanes in lovely rural settings. My exploration of the round towers started at Croxton, just north of Thetford, I rode into the village along a straight road which must once have connected Thetford to Watton before the Second World War when the army acquired the land to the north of the village to train soldiers. There's a handy place just here to pull up at the side of the road and park. because this church too is hard against the road. This round west tower lifting to a spire, which has the effect of a Rhineland castle turret. Certainly it looks rather innocuous in East Anglia. To the south is a pretty thatched cottage bordering the graveyard, which we'll see later. Let's take a closer look at the church. Ah, the rustle of motorcycle trousers and the clump of heavy boots. The church and churchyard are extremely well kept. Clearly, this church must have been extensively redeveloped in the 19th century. The round tower changes to octagonal for the belfry stage, which is capped by a short spire. I presume that these were added at the time of the Victorian Restoration. With its red tiled roof and its many clerestory windows framed with red brick, this is a colourful flint church from the south side. The north side is a different story. There's no aisle, no clerestory, although the east window on the left has a good decorated tracery from the 14th century. There's that pretty cottage I mentioned earlier. I took a final ride past the church with its round tower to continue north out of Croxton along what was once the road to Watton.
And so, on to my next round tower, which will be in the Norfolk village of Weeting. Because, for now, I'm done.